Well, it contrasts greatly with what the Democrats are proposing. We want to end the bailouts. They are going to have a permanent bailout agency in the Federal Reserve. We don't think that taxpayer funds should be obligated to failing institutions. We don't think the government ought to pick winners or losers. And we want to end the cycle of taxpayer-funded loans and guarantees. You know, taxpayers have their own trouble without asking them to bail out some of the largest financial institutions in this country for risky behavior. You know, the taxpayer is not supposed to come in and bail out Wall Street. From the Republican standpoint, what we do is we let the existing agencies do their job. We make them do their job. And we incorporate them under one umbrella so that you can't shop for the least restrictive regulatory environment. Our main thing is not picking winners and losers, not obligating the taxpayer, and not shifting the risk from those who took the risk to those who didn't. You know, 95 percent of Americans are still either on their own home or renting or paying their mortgage on time. It's simply unfair for some of our community banks, which have not engaged in risky behavior, to shoulder the financial burden for some of the extreme risk-taking and over-leveraged corporations. Well, the Federal Reserve and the Democratic administration want it both ways. They say the Federal Reserve needs to be totally independent, without any more accountability, without any more transparency. And Ron Paul and I and others have said that, look, they can be independent, but when they start spending taxpayer money, when they start using the American citizens' money, then they're no longer independent. We're not going to fund them and allow them to do whatever they choose to do. We're going to ask them to be transparent and to have accountability. And we also really want to prohibit them from continuing to bail out failed institutions who got themselves in trouble. Now, if they want to bail out, if they want to do something to the general economy, if they want to do something to promote lending or to allow, you know, greater access to credit, that's one thing. If they want to offer a program to everyone, that's fine. But let's not have these ad hoc bailouts, and let's not have this star chamber type of agency that is answerable to no one. We will offer it as an alternative, and it is a clear alternative. And as I said, it stands in most stark contrast to the Democratic plan in that we do not want to empower the Federal Reserve or the Treasury or anyone else with greater powers to obligate taxpayer money to failing institutions. Well, I think it is, first of all, if you want to stimulate the economy, cut the taxes, the tax burden on individual Americans. You know, cut the payroll tax or give all taxpayers a tax credit instead of stimulating government growth. That's what the last stimulus did. It stimulated government. It built more government buildings. It's an expansion of government. And, you know, to me, if you're going to do something to stimulate the economy, do it for everyone, those who acted responsibly as well as those who maybe got themselves in trouble. Thank you. Thank you.